Ahí no cuando dijo lo, dijo lo más. Un momento. Welcome to another Omen and Series. It is the Tubo Sigwe, Ezekiel Omo. Today I want to discuss the essence of knowing Yoshi. The essence of knowing Yoshi because she is central to most of the teachings I've done this year and to Odinana teaching, you know, our ancient ways. Now let's really understand the essence of knowing Yoshi. The European scripture will say, uh, those who know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Those who know their God shall be strong and do exploit. I often wonder why they use their God. Instead of, you know, Bible is, um, is, talk, is a monotheistic um, religion. They are talking about one God, the concept of one God, the creator of the universe. So I always ask myself, is there a mistake? Was that a mistake? Why did they write those who know their God? Or is it a kind of freedom sleep that happened in that particular verse in the Bible? Those who know their God, because it contradicts everything that Bible had, the concept of one God. Those who know their God. So he's saying that gods are many. Their God, your own God, my own God, this people's God. Your... So that's what it means. Those who know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Now, if I can translate this particular scripture, this verse, if I should translate it to Igbo, it will it will be like it will go like this. Ndi obuna, ndi obuna, matching keha ge mmeri mehe di ebube na atwanya. If I even want to personalize it, it will be onyo obuna matchie ye mmeri mehe di ebube. That means if I want to personalize it, anybody that knows his God, his God, his God shall be strong and do exploit. So I can just summarize this teaching I want to teach here and say that there what the essence of knowing your she, the essence of aligning and working daily with your she is to be what for you to be able to be strong. You may have that strength because without strength, you cannot do exploit without a king. Without Ikenga, you say strong. Without Ikenga, ik, stre, strong means strength. Strength means Ikenga in Igbo. Without Ikenga, you cannot be able to do, carry out what? Success. So the essence of she is for one to be strong and do what? Success. For one to be strong and do what? So, and carry out success. Because it takes someone who knows his God to be strong. Onye machie, woni, woni Ikenga. Anonya hiye, wemeli. Now, the question now arises, does all successful people know their chi? Does all successful people know their chi? Yes, all successful, for you to be strong, for you to be, for you to be a success, you need to be strong. And for you to be strong, you need something that will strengthen you. And we are saying that it's your chi that strengthens you. Your chi is the source of your strength. I have said it in previous season that a man, the basic of a man's ikenga is his chi and undi chi. But today I'm concentrating on she because she is the most fundamental force of anybody's ikenga. You cannot do success without your chi. Our people will say, "Ego wanza na abu na etiti ilo umulo ye na kolonya bu na kolonya ya bu ebu ni mafia." That means the squirrel that is dancing in the middle of the road must be dancing to a music being beaten by someone who is nearby in the bush. You cannot just be dancing on the middle of the road. There must be a force. That is playing the music nearby. So from this analogy, you can say that every successful pe person is the one that in the middle of the road, and the she is someone nearby in the bush orchestrating the words, the rhythm. Na kuni nyawe ba, na kuni nyawe ba, yemo ina kolori ba. Ebu one ina ba. Any dance that you are dancing, there must be a, a player, a music player, and we are saying that your she is that person playing that music that you are going to dance. Your she is your inspiration as far as this physical world is concerned. If your she does not inspire you, there will be no strength in you for you to carry out exploits. I'm saying that for you to be successful, or every successful person on this earth, I don't care the culture you are coming from, I don't care your religion. For you to be successful, you must know your she. You must know your she, not knowing God, I'm not saying God. I'm not saying knowing God. 
because God is many. I don't understand. Most times when people say God or Creator, I get confused. I kind of back away. What is certain in this world is that everybody has their own chi. You can call that chi your God. For you to understand this, that what I'm, we are saying, that for you to be successful, the success you are looking for is 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 interwoven, is linked with your chi, with you knowing your chi. Yibos went for there also to stay again in one of their saying that a waka mumbo begunni, a waka mumbo begunni manam bunyen ne sina. She is saying that no matter how far you hustle, no matter how hard working you are. No matter how intelligent and busy you are, you cannot have a resounding success if your she does not back you up and carry you up. The best that can happen to you when you are hardworking and you don't know your she is what, you can just see what they call shop money, daily bread. Anybody that doesn't know his she, the best result the person will get from his hustling is what daily bread. But that kind of success that most of us are looking for, that, of, that kind of resounding success, in everybody wants to do exploit. I don't know in whatever field you are doing, you find yourself in. Whatever is your profession, you want to get to the peak, the zenith. You want to, even if you don't want to be get to the zenith, you want to do something. You want to leave a mark. And we are saying that for you to be that kind of success, you must know your shit. Because it's only your she that can propel you. So once she is a propeller, without she nothing, the, the force that we are all looking for, this God that we are all looking for, is inside our she. We are our success in this in this in this life journey is interwoven, is linked to our she. Our she is our propeller. Is the engine. That's why I keep saying it. The foundation of your ikenga. You must know your she. Your she is the foundation of your ikenga. It's the very essence. So it's important. Most of us are running around looking for one magic, something that will happen. And everything you are looking for is embedded is in, your, in you knowing your chi. So I'm saying that no matter the level of your hard work, you can you cannot amount to success unless your she decides to lift you up. I've said it before. Only when I judge someone who has a bad chi, his own is doomed. Because your chi is the center. This God we are all looking for. The Christians will say that oh, Jesus, Jesus died all for you to be rich. Jesus did this one. Jesus did the liberation everybody is talking about in every religion is chi. Is this chi? It has several names in every religion. Because your chi is your own personal God. Is the source of your individual strength. Now, another question we, we, that will arise is this: Have all successful people in this life done what to she as enshrined by the Igbo culture? The answer is no, no. It's a capital no. But the answer still is still valid that every successful person knows their chi and listen to their chi you must know that able to she is able system of aligning you with that god within with that your own personal god able to she is a cultural approach to a universal principle able to she is just a cultural approach it's just like the saying that there are several routes to the stream or there are several routes to the river there is no market, there is no stream that has only one road to it. There are several routes to every river. So when we are talking about chi, everybody's guardian angel, there are several roads to it. Ibo to chi is our own Ibo cultural system of aligning one to their, to their chi. So every successful people knows their chi. But have every successful people done Ibo to chi? I will say no. It's not, it's not no. The other system, the concept of accepting Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior that the Christians are saying is still the concept of aligning you with your chi. But the only lie in it, the only contradiction is in it is them saying that Jesus is the chi of everybody. I'm saying no, it's not true. Everybody have their own chi. You must know your own chi. You must know the source of your own strength. You must know the spirit that is propelling you. You must know that dear God. Or your God for you to be strong and do exploit. 
So Ibo Toshi is a cultural way of the Ibos, of leading one to know his Lord and personal Savior. I believe each culture and also each individual have ways that they have devised to listen to that unseen drama in the bush that is giving them the confidence to dance in the middle of the road. So even within this Anibo, for we who are Igbos, so people can decide not to discard with their own cultural approach of aligning with their shit. It's their own personal decision. After all, people, answer names. So Chima is only them and Aria Chima. So let me state this very clearly that people do not follow your cultural parameters of aligning with chi does not mean they do not they do not or cannot know their chi. Even in the Anibo here, that some Igbos have not done what you call no to a case or to she does not mean that they do not know their chi. That's why I keep saying, keep looking, stop looking back to all these old ways of doing it. Jay Wafago, Jay made this one, Jay made this one. There are several rules to the stream. There are several ways of aligning with your she. Stop being fixated in one particular method because those who are not even able to have ways of knowing their own she. That some people do not sacrifice animal to their she does not mean they may not know their she. In my last video, I talk about sacrificing four legged animals for your she and only she. Some people might have another way of sacrificing or paying back to their she. There are several ways of doing these things. I don't want us to be... This is spirituality. I, I've said it in another previous video. Spirituality is flexible. The art of spirituality is flexible. It doesn't mean that it must be. The only thing is that what I, I teach most times here is how we Igbos do something. Those don't mean that that's the only way of doing it. In a previous video, I've said that someone can know his or her she, and that someone asked me, can my she, what if my she does not like blood? Is it possible? I say, yes, it might be possible. For example, I give, I use myself as an example. I do not take alcohol in this particular present existence. So there is a certainty that if I die and join the League of Undishi, if I'm fortunate, if I make the mark to join the League of my ancestral Undishi, and I'm cheat to someone who has incarnated in this world, and I still do not like alcohol. It might be possible that I might not like alcohol. It might even be possible that I might tell the person, if you do not sacrifice blood, do this one for me, and I'm okay. There are several modes, modus operandi, several ways of doing these things. Stop, stop saying that this, because of this person, is not doing it this way, and the person I'm she is not true. So I'm saying that, that people do not call God the same name you call God does not mean they do not know God. That some people do not follow the system, your own system or our own cultural system does not mean they do not know that thing. No. We must know that the work with you is first an individual and personal thing before a cultural thing. The work with you is first an individual thing and personal thing before a cultural thing. Every your relationship with your chi is first of all an individual thing before it becomes a cultural thing. What is more of a cultural thing is your relationship with your ndi chi. But relationship with chi is a is a is an individual thing. It's not a cultural thing. I say it's first an individual thing. So this is why the Ibus perhaps they realize this. this is why we have so many things. We say nyana chia, nyana chia, oh nyana chia ama, utuhasi mepeta. So people have an understanding with their she, and once they have reached that understanding, it becomes a case of So our relationship with our she is an individual thing, but because we are all products of culture, we came into this world through a particular lineage. We may tend to explain the concept of aligning with our she from the eyes of our culture. From the eyes of our world, culture, because culture is fixed and rigid. It's not like spirituality that it's flexible. Culture is fixed and rigid. Culture is about tradition. This is how we do things. Spirituality is about flexibility. It's about different roots to a particular thing. Culture is about this is our own route to this thing. So I'm saying that she is the most vital relationship a, a human in the journey of life should what develop. Your victory as human or individual is only assured with the backing and blessing of your world, chi. 
the real God humanity is looking for starts with knowing your own sheep. That success you are looking for in life, that God you are looking for in life starts with knowing your own sheep, knowing your own God, because without it, you cannot be able to do exploits. You cannot have that strength. Every strength you are looking for to execute, as in to become a success in, in life, you can only get it when you link up with your chief. Let me end with these three things. Knowing your sheep makes you one to look in words. It makes you to know who you are. The Greeks, you say, man, know thyself. The Greeks, you say, man, know thyself. You cannot know yourself if you do not know your sheep. Ndi boya se yo be shio fun mo. Abkonye yo be mo fuchie. You cannot know yourself without knowing your sheep. Your sheep helps you to open yourself up because your sheep knows you more. Your sheep makes you to know who you are and where you are from. For we Igbos have entered cultural thing, the rigid part. For we Igbos, we believe that one she is either from the father's or the mother's side. So that's why I'm saying that knowing your she helps you to know yourself. The journey of knowing your she at times helps you to know your family history from father's side or from the mother's side. And how can you know yourself? How can you know yourself when you don't know those who came before you? I keep saying it is not an accident of history that the New Testament and the Old Testament of the Christian Bible started with history, tracing lineage. Tracing lineage. You must know who you are. And how can you know it if you do not know your family history, both from your father's side and your mother's side? It helps you to know who you are. So knowing your she helps you to look in word. Knowing your she helps you to build self-confidence and self-esteem. One who truly knows and listens to his or her she will be a confident person. Anybody that truly knows his she and listens to his she will be a confident person. Because I keep saying it, that God that inspires, that builds confidence, that tells you something and you do it and it comes out well, that saves you from trouble, is your she. And the more you listen, and understand the work with your chi, it builds confidence. You'll be a confident person. You'll be able to go to go into any battle because your chi have approved it. In some cultures, that inner voice that they teach you is actually the voice of your chi. That inner voice that saves you from self-destruction. Don't do this. Don't do this. Or you do this this way. This way. That inner voice, in some cases, is the voice of your word she. So number three, I said, I say what? Knowing your shit is the only guarantee to your success as an individual. You cannot succeed in this life. You cannot succeed in this life if you do not know your shit. Knowing your shit is the only guarantee to your success. Your personal success is linked to your shit. The more you develop that relationship with your shit, your shit will inspire you. Now, what you It's not when you are keep looking for outsiders that will help you. No, you cannot. Our people will still fail your third days. We are looking for outside help from individuals that have their own she. Look for that your own spring inside, your she inside, and it will be able to sustain you and you will record that kind of success you are looking for. Now you now understand why me as a DBA refuse to feed people's she for them. Because after last week's teaching, so many people wanted me to, and I'll say, no. All those things I thought about sacrifice. I'm not saying that I didn't teach it for you to. If you want to approach me on a deeper level for me to do something for you, as he did not help you to feed your she or your ancestors, I'm not going to do that because that's a personal relationship you are supposed to develop. It's between you and your chief. If you are where you cannot feed your she four legged distance, find out with your she how you are supposed to do it in a way that it will please your she. It's a personal thing. Don't bring a third party into your relationship with your she. I repeat, don't bring a third party into your relationship with your she. My teaching is very simple. Feed your she, move your she, build a personal altar for your she. Let it be your duty. It's an individual thing. So I know that so many of you want to record success, and I'm telling you that this success you are looking for cannot be found outside your she. Every successful person knows their she. I don't care the culture the person is in. Find, he or she finds himself in. They know how to relate with that, their she. 
develop your own way of of listening of working with your she remember ebonye dalakashi yo patuye where you get abandoned is where your she has decided to abandon you do not allow your she to abandon you ebonye kachi yo patuye develop that relationship with your she so it will be, your she will lead you into success that you are all looking for i want ali able to succeed i want you to succeed but exploit is only for those who have known their she thank you thank you for watching this video uh, if you like the video please like subscribe and share i would like to hear from some of you if you have any question please you can reach me through the number on the screen or my email address or other, my other social media handles thank you